Close your eyes and watch your breath. We're in a place out here where we're in what's called physical seclusion. You're far away from home, far away from your, your normal concerns. And it's good to reflect on the fact that the issues at the house, the issues at work are not here right now. You can let them go. But there are still issues in the mind, so we have to take care of those. That's why we look for physical seclusion, so we get to see our own minds clearly. Because if we're entangled with a lot of other people, we see their issues and our issues all tangled together, and it's hard to separate well, what, where are we contributing to the issues and where are they. But when you come out here and you're alone, you can watch the mind on its own. And you begin to see that it doesn't just sit here receiving things. It's out actively looking for things. So what is it looking for? That's what you'll find. Sometimes you see that it's looking for things that you wouldn't have expected. But it's, at the very least, it's good to know what your mind is up to. As John Lee says, when you start practicing, that's when you really start seeing your defilements. You see your greed, you see your aversion, you see your delusion. <laughs> Even though you're trying to get the mind to be quiet, trying to get the mind to be still, there are parts of it that still want to go out and look for trouble. And you have to figure out why. Because if you can't figure this out while you're here alone, then it's going to be really hard to figure it out when you're dealing with other people because you're dealing with their defilements as well. So take some time to take stock of your own mind. And you begin to get a sense of what its good points are, what its bad points are. And you can use your strengths in order to overcome the bad points. That's what the practice is all about. And as you get a clearer sense of your own mind here, then when you go back home, go back to work, you're more likely to catch yourself. You say, oh, I've seen that pattern before. It's not a pure response to something from coming from outside. It's part of the mind looking for trouble. And you can decide to put it aside. There's so much that goes on in the mind that you don't have to side with. One of the big misunderstandings we have is that everything that comes out of the mind we've got to deal with, we've got to follow, because it's us, it's ours, it's our way of thinking. But this is one of the purposes of the teaching on not-self. Things come up in the mind, you can say, I don't need to follow that. I don't need to own that. I can let that go. It's in this way that we clear things out inside. When things are cleared out inside, then it's a lot easier to deal with other people. Because you're not adding to the trouble.